I feed Bill Jack. If you haven't tried it, try it out on your dog. You'll be glad to see the difference like I have. He's nine and a half years old. Remember that blue dogs need a lot of motivation. You need to find that special treat. You only give your dog in a training session that really motivates your blue dog. Animal actors, take one. As a Hollywood animal trainer with nearly 40 years of experience, Jim Brockett is quite unique in that many of the animals that he has supplied to some of your favorite motion pictures are far from your everyday house cat or dog. Jim works with snakes, bugs, and a variety of other critters. Okay, this week we're with Jim Brockett again and we're going to be talking about um, spiders and bugs and working these animals on the set and things. Uh, a lot of people don't realize that people call you for Critters like this. What's this guy? This is this is a called a uh, this is a giant cockroach from the Amazon mm -hmm. called a cave cockroach. Uh -huh. It's one of the biggest of the cockroach species, but they've been around for uh, millions of years, and they'll probably be around millions of years after we're gone. And this is the largest of all the cockroaches. This is yes, it is. It's certainly the longest. There's a couple from Australia that probably weigh more, mm -hmm. but this is uh, certainly the, the longest. Okay, this is called a hissing cockroach. Why is this called a hissing cockroach? <laughs> when you touch them, one of their one of their defenses, let's see if you'll hear it. Oh yeah. They make that little hissing sound, and what that does is a lot of times if a, a predator grabs them, just that hiss, that quick noise, will startle whatever's trying to eat them, and they'll drop it for a second. It gives them a chance to get away. Where does that sound come from? Uh, they have little holes along the side of their body, right along the side and that's where they breathe. Uh -huh. That's how they have a, a little book lungs inside their body and that's how they breathe and they can also expel air out of that and that's what makes the hissing sound. So are there any big shows that these uh, these cockroaches have done? Well, these, these are some of the uh, descendants of the ones we used in Men in Black. Oh really? Where, where the thousands of cockroaches came out of out of the dumpster and out of the guy's arm and all of that. These are some of the guys and they're the ones we prefer using just because they're slower moving and we have a better chance of getting them all back at the end of the day. Uh -huh. Okay, so what do we have here? This is a, called an orange knee tarantula. It's uh, from Mexico. It's one of the one of the couple of species that we use a lot with actors and that. It's very gentle. Mm -hmm. It uh, doesn't try and bite. Though, though all of the tarantulas do have really huge fangs. Mm -hmm. They don't have a really strong venom. Uh, the orange knee tarantula hardly ever tries to bite. Mm -hmm. uh, its main defense is it throws hairs off of its butt that'll just make you itch like crazy. So if somebody sees um, one of these working on, in a movie or commercial, chances are they're probably going to have the orange knees, possibly? The or? orange knees, or another one I'll bring out in a second called a pink toe tarantula. Mm -hmm. But for like movies, if you want to see the spider, for example, going A to B, mm -hmm. which is a lot of times what people ask, they, they want to see the spider right. come out from behind something or just magically appear. What we do is we blow a little air on them, uh -huh. and you, let me show you. You just blow a little air on them. Oh yeah, and definitely, it, yeah. Everyone thinks it's amazing that I've trained a spider. <laughs> now this is a little different looking than the one we just had out. Yeah, this is called a, a pink-toed tarantula, and they're from South America. But one of the things with the, them is that they do have toe pads on their toes, and they're one of the few spiders it actually can live with other spiders. They're also, they can climb vertical surfaces. Mm -hmm. We use these a lot around actors where they want to see a spider on somebody. Here, turn this way around. And you can see the pink, and you can you see You can actually pink, see the little pink toes. The pink toes, But yeah. they're also very docile, but they can climb, and they won't hurt themselves if they fall. These guys actually jump quite a bit. But you know what's really interesting is, is you can tell the, you can definitely tell the weight of this thing. I mean, even though I, you know there's something on you, it's like, it's amazing. So this is a pink-toed... Pink-toed tarantula. This particular kind is called an emperor scorpion. Mm -hmm. It's very docile and it's one we use a lot for films. What do people need to know about scorpions? The venom comes from this venom gland that is right ahead of that uh, stinger you can see. Uh, a lot of people are stung every year by scorpions. The main thing is if you live in an area with, where they have dangerous scorpions, which is in the U.S., mostly southeastern Arizona, mm -hmm. uh, southwestern Arizona, mm -hmm. but it just make sure you dump, you know, shake your shoes out in the morning. Mm -hmm. That's where they're going to be hiding is in dark, uh -huh. dark, cool places. And so they go, a lot of times people are stung with putting their shoes on. Uh -huh. And again, it's one of those things where they get hurt by not watching where they're walking mm -hmm. or where they're putting their hands. The same way people get bitten by snakes. Right. Jim, thanks a lot for coming on. Certainly.